I imagine there are a number of journalism students in the audience tonight. I imagine there are a good number of people who, well, they, they filter in, they become middle echelon apparatchiki for the media empire that you've discussed. They come out imbued with the ideology of value-free, objective reporting. It's the major ideological offensive against the kind of model that you want to pose as an alternative. I wonder if you could talk to the audience here about the ideology of objectivity mm -hmm. and value-free reporting within this system. Well, there is uh, such an ideology, and it's interesting to see how it's interpreted. Uh, objectivity means uh, you take what people in power say and you report it accurately without distorting their quotes. Uh, and then sort of down at the bottom of the column, uh, you know, down at the bottom of the column, you may say things like what I quoted, if you're really an intrepid reporter. Uh, you say, well, this m may seem to be inconsistent with the spirit of the peace agreement. Uh, that's, uh, you know, that's objective reporting. Uh, if the State Department announces that Nicaragua has called for a revolution without borders, uh, then even if you know it happens to be a lie, an objective reporter just reports it because they said it, after all. It's true that they said it. Uh, and uh, wouldn't be object it would be introducing opinions to say it's a lie, I suppose. Uh, so uh, there is an obje uh, uh, ideology of objectivity. And I wouldn't just scoff at it, incidentally. Uh, the fact of the matter is that, by and large, American reporters, if, if you had two, you know, a bunch of reporters describing something they saw, uh, I would tend, by and large, to trust the American reporter at least as much, maybe more, than those who come out of other traditions. Because this, tradi this business of objectivity is not completely to be scoffed at. The effort to try to keep your reporting to the facts and not to introduce opinion is a worthy effort. And sometimes it shows up in accurate description. And there are some reporters, I should say, who do it extremely well uh, and have, have a very good record of it. And in fact, this even includes reporters who work for the uh, journals that, in my view, are right at the core of the propaganda system. Uh, so take, say, John Kiffner of the New York Times. I think you can tell when the New York Times w editors want some story to be reported accurately for their own purposes. That's when they send John Kiffner to report it, because he's going to report it accurately. And when they don't want it reported accurately anymore, they take him off and put him back at the Metro desk. That's one test as to what the editors have in mind. Uh, and, there, there, and there are times when they want report, uh, stories reported accurately, and there are some journalists who really do it. Uh, on the other hand, when they send Tom Friedman out, their current chief diplomatic correspondent, you know what they want is propaganda. Uh, you want somebody who's going to say, as he just said after he was uh, advanced to this august post, uh, that the uh, United States um, uh, is now, you know, sort of under the Bush administration planning to support the... Uh, uh, Central American peace accords, which were introduced and proposed and advanced by uh, Costa Rica, Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador. Uh, remission there, but that's part of the game. Uh, that's what happens when you send Thomas Friedman to report a story. And I presume that the editors understand these things. That's incidentally, I presume, why Thomas Friedman's chief diplomatic correspondent and John Kiffner isn't, but you'd have to ask the editors about that. Uh, the uh, so the, 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 the get back to your point, uh, the objectivity, it's a good thing. It's a good value to be objective in reporting. And the people who do it honestly do very good journalism. Uh, but uh, as you're implying, that ideology can be used to be a distorting mechanism and quite commonly is.